Hello, family. This is Pastor Ruby Pimentel. And I'm here to give you a word of encouragement. In the book of Matthew, chapter 14, there is a very interesting story. It's a story where Jesus, our Savior, experienced what is personal loss. You see, his cousin has just been killed. He has received the news, and as expected, he wanted to be in a place where he could be alone because he loved his cousin. He grew up with his cousin, and he was very sad. But the Bible register in Matthew 14 that when people found out where God was, where Jesus was, everybody went because people love to be next to Jesus. People love hearing his stories, his sermons, the kindness that he showed, the compassion. And the Bible says, registering the book of Matthew, in chapter 14, verse 14, and when Jesus went out and he saw the great multitude, it says, he was moved with compassion for them and he healed their sick. You see, while Jesus was suffering, people wanted to be next to him. And when he saw them, the Bible says that he was moved by compassion. What does the Bible mean by moved by compassion? Well, the word compassion comes from a word known as mercy. And mercy in Latin, misericordia, mercy, is divided in two. Mer, or miser, of miserable. And si, or cordia, in Latin, as heart. So if you put all that together, it means that Jesus had heart for the miserable. You see, he saw the pain of those that were sick. Now, I must be honest, there were all kinds of people that were sick, but it didn't matter what their sickness was, God was moved in compassion. Jesus saw and he could feel inside of him the pain of the one who couldn't walk, the pain of the one who couldn't see, the pain of the one who probably lost a loved one. And even though he himself was in pain, he decided to step aside his pain and focus on the pain of the mankind. And that's the word I want to give you today. We have a God that is compassionate towards our needs. He sees us. He understands. He could feel the pain and the hurt and the suffering that we go through day to day. So he moved in compassion. And that's why this morning, despite all the trouble and difficulties that you have today or that you have experienced in this week, of the past few weeks. God has showed compassion by giving you life, by allowing you to have a roof over your head, allowing you to have a place to sleep, allowing you to have food on your table. It might be limited, but you still have it because Jesus is moving in compassion. He sees you, and when he sees you, he doesn't just put you to the side or say, well, I got bigger things to deal with. No, when he sees you, he sees somebody that is hurt, that is in pain, and needs a savior. So he moved in compassion towards your life. And even though at this moment you might not feel it, just continue every morning crying out to the Lord in prayer. Continue every day approaching him and let him know that you're there waiting for him. And I can guarantee you, he will move in compassion because Jesus is a God of love. He loves you abundantly and he wants to make sure that you understand that he's there to heal whatever disease that you might have. It might be the disease of loneliness. It might be that you are sick healthy-wise. It might be that, that, you are, that you're in pain, suffering for the hurt somebody caused you. Whatever it is, Jesus is willing to see you and have compassion over you because he sees our condition and he knows that without a savior, we are lost. So be of good heart understanding that as you approach God every single day, he will show compassion. And he's showing it because as of now, as you watch this video, you are alive. May the Lord bless you abundantly. And remember, you have a God that cares for you. May the Lord bless you during the rest of this week and hope to see you next week.